ADD is a very interesting condition. We think about 5% of the population actually has some form of ADD. But this diagnosis really has only existed for about 50 years. Before that, these were just hyperactive kids or kids who didn't pay attention in school and weren't very good at indoor kind of tasks. But this trait, this ability to be distracted so easily, has undoubtedly been around for a million years. So as evolutionary physicians, we ask ourselves, why did this exist? What good was this in the Stone Age? And when you think about it, it makes a lot of sense. If you had somebody in your little tribe in the Stone Age who was very easily distracted, they would always be sitting around at the edge of the campfire or out a little bit from the center of the crowd when everybody else was entranced by a story or listening to the tales of the hunting exploits for that day. Somebody out in the edge of the crowd would be sitting there and might hear a little distracting sound of a predator sneaking up on them or maybe, maybe an enemy that was scouting for the next raid. And by warning everybody in the group, because they were so alert, they saved the day. They saved the rest of us. So for the group as a whole, it's very beneficial to have a few of these people around all the time who really don't focus and concentrate on what's going on steadily, but can be easily distracted by whatever disturbance is out there. And so ADD is really an, an evolutionary survival trait that benefits all of us, but it really only occurs in a few of us.